I'd like to share a message and speak my truth. And if this message resonates with you, wonderful. Take it. If it doesn't, leave it. I want to point out why there's so much crazy, negative, evil, and fear going on right now. First, I want to kind of explain consciousness. Consciousness is God. Consciousness is the fabric of everything, all existence. All things are a different frequency. So we can think of consciousness as like a spectrum. There's one end, there's two ends of the spectrum with infinite numbers of frequencies and vibrations within that. And the earth is a series of frequencies. Like, you know, like if you look at the light spectrum, you've got the little segment of the color band in the middle where you can see. And those within themselves are just, those are a few different light frequencies within a greater spectrum of frequencies of light. And consciousness is pretty much the same thing. And those frequencies of light fall under consciousness as well. And the further down you are on the denser side of it, the more unconscious side of the spectrum is what we see as evil and bad and manipulative, narcissistic, psychopathic. And then the people who are higher on the spectrum of consciousness are like healers, shamans, monks, you know, light workers, goodness. So you have a spectrum from bad to good, evil to good, kind of like a temperature spectrum, cold to hot with many different degrees of temperature in the middle. At what, where does one start and the other end? So the earth is like somewhere on that frequency, you know, the, the Schumann resonance, resonance is, I can't remember exactly what the Hertz is off the top of my head, but the earth vibrates at a certain frequency and it is ascending. It is moving its way up to higher levels of consciousness and the people and entities who have had control and are stuck at the lower end of consciousness don't want to let it go. They don't want to lose their stranglehold and their grip and their control. And for each person who ascends higher on that spectrum of consciousness, you magnify it. You help the collective to also ascend. They don't want that. So if they can chemically lobotomize people with vaccines and the food and the poison water and poison air and all these, this attack on us from all angles and the po politics and, you know, fear, 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 and it keeps everyone distracted and fearful and it keeps everybody on that lower end of the spectrum where they're at because they don't want you to go within yourself, work on yourself, heal yourself, ascend along that consciousness spectrum to the higher side of things. They're trying to keep everybody down with them, but their time is up. Their time is very limited. All in all, this is all God's plan. This entire play and orchestration of everything going on is all God. And the intention is to get you to wake up to your true self, to your higher self, 
to your potential, to your ability to manifest and create. We're all powerful beings. And the ones who are in control don't want you to know that because then they lose control. They don't have control over you anymore if you learn about your true powers. If you start to ascend and if you start to vibrate at a higher frequency and you don't play into their fear tactics anymore. When you start to focus on the love side of things and the positive side of things and the enlightened side of things, then <laughs> it takes it away from them and they can't, they can't do anything about it. So that is why there is so much going on right now to distract you from who you truly are. It's to keep you in fear and to keep you down low. And the ultimate goal here is to rise above it. Rise above. Raise your vibration and frequency. And if we don't, we're just not going to be here anymore. Because the earth itself is also, as a whole, as a collective, is raising. And so if you don't rise up along with it, then it's going to be a mismatch of frequencies and you won't be able to exist within this range of frequencies anymore. Think of it like the little light spectrum on the, on the, um, the fuller spectrum, like moving along and we all exist within this color spectrum. And if it's moving along, everyone that doesn't go along with it is not going to be part of it. So there's nothing to be scared of because that is part of their control mechanism. You have to learn to lose the fear, overcome it. Fear, F-E-A-R, means face everything and rise. That's my favorite acronym for it, at least. And if we can face all of the scary things and rise above it, then it can't affect you anymore. It just, you can't. You can't. I don't have that same, like, fear drive anymore. It's gone. It's, I've changed a lot and I've learned about how, like, when you start to learn about energy and you know, once you know that energy cannot be destroyed, it only changes form and everything is energy. You are energy. I am energy. My house is energy. Everything is energy. Everything is a frequency and it's all within that spectrum of consciousness so it only shifts forms. Like, your soul doesn't die. You don't die. Our bodies and our minds are just the 3D, the third dimension. And there are many dimensions. Many more dimensions. And when our physical bodies die, it's not the end. It's not the end at all. We're only here in this little, this very small, tiny fraction of a, of a segment of this massive spectrum of consciousness. These, these dense bodies, this earth, like we have to lose that fear. Cause at the root of it, what is it? You're scared to die. Is that the, the baseline of the fear? Well, once you aren't scared to die, then they lose their power. See what I mean? It's, um, it's all, it's all up here. It's all in here. If you can learn to face your fears, then the fear has no more power over you. So I hope this makes sense. I hope it 
leaves you with some inspiration. And I also hope that everybody can take some time to themselves to really go within and really get to know yourself, get to know who you really are, because who you are is intimately connected and inseparable from the source, the creator, the consciousness, that is everything. <laughs>